A reservoir kept at a higher level stores water. This is connected to a small cylindrical tank kept at a slightly higher level above the heater. One end of the copper pipe is connected to the bottom of the small tank with the other end connected near its middle. Water from the tank flows continuously through the pipe. The water absorbs heat and gets heated up. Hot water remains in the upper portion of the tank and this can be drawn through a tap. Cold water from the reservoir tank replaces the hot water drawn. Solar energy heats the air near the earth. The hot air becomes lighter and this air rises up. This results in a low pressure area. Cooler air flows into this region giving rise to wind. Thus, wind energy is due to solar energy. Note that the salts that cause hardness are ionic compounds. These salts ionize to give positive ions and negative ions when dissolved in water. For example, magnesium sulfate when dissolved in water disassociates into Mg++ ions and SO4- ions. The mixture is introduced into the blast furnace, figure 15.3. From the top of the furnace by the cup and cone arrangement. Hot air is blasted from bottom of the furnace. The following reactions take place and finally iron is produced. 1. Limestone decomposes to calcium oxide. CaCO3 heat gives CaO plus CO2 liberated. Calcium oxide reacts with silica to form calcium silicate. CaO plus SiO2 gives CaSiO3. 2. Coke reacts with oxygen present in the air to form carbon dioxide. C plus O2 gives CO2 liberated. 3. Carbon dioxide reacts with more coke to produce carbon monoxide. CO2 plus C gives 2 CO liberated. 4. Carbon monoxide reduces the iron oxide to iron. Fe2O3 plus 3 CO gives 2 Fe plus 3 CO2 liberated. Iron so produced will be in molten state and is collected at the bottom of the furnace. Calcium silicate is a slag. It collects at the bottom of the furnace above the molten iron. In a nuclear power plant, the energy released by fission is used to produce superheated steam. This turns a turbine, which in turn operates an electric generator. 